Uh, hello, this is Elio Grafanov, and today I would like to show you what performance slider is used for in HSM Advisor. In the latest user satisfaction survey, quite a few people indicated that they either don't know uh, what it is for or, or, or don't use it. Performance slider is available for milling and for turning tools. It is not available for drilling. You need to expand this speed and feed adjustments panel to see it. Uh, the main function of performance slider is to adjust the expected performance level of the cutter because in real world any tool can be used for roughing, uh, finishing or general machining. HSM Advisor allows you to choose the preferred material load on your cutter. For example, if you intend to make only light cuts with your end mill, you move the perform, uh, performance slider all the way to the left. This ensures the lowest possible a material removal rate and lowest possible torque and uh, force on your cutter. When you're doing uh, medium machining, medium roughing or something like that, then you move it to the middle. And for heavy duty roughing, you move it all the way to the right. Of course, if your setup is strong enough. Let's see how a performance slider affects the depth and width of cut, the suggested depth and width of cut. We begin at the minimum possible level. You see that the width of cut is only 75 tau and the depth of cut is 875. And we have the material removal rate of 1.2. If we move this to the medium position, we have doubled our suggested width of cut and the depth of cut remains the same because HSM Advisor tries to use the largest possible depth of cut to save the tool. And uh, if you're doing a lot of heavy roughing, then you move it all the way to the right and you have the largest possible width of cut and the same depth of cut. And also you have the largest uh, possible material removal rate. This is basically it. If you have the not so strong machine like a Tormach, you may find that, for example, this level, 0.625 performance level, is good for your machine and it pretty much works for, works for you. You can go to settings and in defaults panel, you can set this performance level. So now every time you change the tool type, this performance level will be automatically set for you. So you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to keep adjusting it. Just go to settings, defaults, and set your performance level. You can do the same to torque, uh, torque limit, to reflection limit, and uh, even cutting speed and chip load overrides. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.